you are welcome to my channel this is vsm designs today we are going to learn the simplest way to cut and sew abada if this is your first time on this channel kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that when next i upload a video youtube will notify you and if you are a returning fan thank you for checking back now let's go straight to today's tutorial You are going to fold your fabric into four layers. These are the two first two layers. The first two layers. Then you are going to fold it this way and this will be the length of your abada. As you are folding it this way, you will be measuring it according to the length of the abada. The fabric runs by 60 inches. That means that what we are cutting here is both the body of the abada and the sleeves together. There will be no need to slice the fabric again in the name of cutting off the sleeves as it was done in the olden days. No, the essence of cutting that sleeve separately is because they used to fix pocket on the abada and there's how it was done that would necessitate the cutting of the sleeves separately. But no, all those are not necessary here another reason you should cut the sleeves separate is when your fabric is not enough it's not wide enough to contain the sleeves and the body together for example when you are sewing abada with a fabric that runs by 45 inches The length of this abada is 44 inches so i'm going to measure 44 inches and then add another two inches which will be for the folding allowance that's 46 inches in total then you cut And here will be the neck of the abada which is the center of the clothes you will only just notch it then and send it to your designer so I sent it to my designer and after some days here is the result This is a monogram design and this design cost 30,000 Naira including the design on the sleeves of the inner outfit. You can use the comment section to tell me the average amount this design can be charged in your area. Remember this is the down part of the abada. We are going to turn it over to the back. In case you've not joined my WhatsApp group where like-minded people interact, I have dropped the link on the comment section and also on the description box. This is the inside of the design. It was done directly on the clothes.
we are going to do the first joining of the down part of the abada you are going to run thread here remember you added two inches when we are cutting this is two inches two inches you can even draw a line on it just like i'm doing and i'm doing this for the sake of this video this is 10 inches you also do the same thing on the other side two inches and then 10 inches please if you are enjoying this video i want you to click on the like button so that youtube can show it to other people who might benefit from this video please that's the only way you can support me if you have also not subscribed to my channel just look below this video you will see a white button written subscribe please click on it and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever i upload a video youtube will notify you first I have run the thread what we are going to do now is to fold the down parts that we just run thread We are going to first of all open press make sure you are open press according to the two inches we run off so we are done with the open pressing we are now going to fold the SS fabric So we are going to run thread here. Next thing we are going to do is to also fold the sleeves. usually as i fold the sleeves and even the down i used to add hemming gum but because this is brocade and it relaxes very well so there's no need for me to add hemming gum but if you are sewing with something like 
cashmere material or stock material, you will need to add hemming gum as you fold. You may wish to slice the hemming gum into two and add to it so that it will be held in place and after sewing it will also look neat and presentable. The next thing I'm going to do is to run thread on both sides of the sleeves folding. Thank you for watching this video. You can now click on the banners showing on your screen right now to watch my next videos.